Hello and welcome back to the 2023 Junior World Championships powered by Paragon Disc Golf here in the greater Peoria area. I am so excited for this PGA Major, uh, working with Crew42, filming the FJ18 division. I again am on the commentator's mic, joined by the ever-amazing Grace Dykema again. Thank you. You were too kind. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you so much. If you haven't already, make sure you like, like the video, subscribe. Go check out Crew 42 and the coverage they make as well. We love... Paul's throw with Grace, too. Love working with the PDGA for this. Taking a look real quick at the leaderboard, uh, Ellie is dominating. She's got quite 14-stroke lead after three rounds, but second... Uh, has got a race for it. We've got fourth place is not too far behind. There's a race for that as well. Taking a look at our car specifically, we have Ellie again with the dominant lead. We have Lillian who made a move up the leaderboard, tied for second now with Trinity. He played a great round uh, at Kennel Lake. Yes. We've got Trinity. She is a dominant player in this division. She took uh, top third, third place, third place finish last year. And we've had Montana on the card Montana, already for yes. this tournament multiple times. Uh, so she's back joining us for sunset hills this ledgestone layout essentially for fpo you guys are going to try it out today hole one what do we got 636 feet just trying to get your drive as far as you can the the car path goes back and forth between ob and safe so on this hole it is safe and then you're trying to tuck into the left here where the basket is on a big downhill with water right behind it it's a tough green it, it is very it's super tough. sloped yeah it, it's very easy to go into the water very fast. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Not that I would know from experience, of course. Eyes jetting left and right real quick. Yeah. <laughs> Junior and amateur world championships. We are here now we have tea times for this round, so we all get yeah. to be announced. Yeah. Yeah. Super fun. 18 division. Getting us started this afternoon, hailing from Hortense, Georgia, Eliezra Mittling. The FA1 division has just finished their last tee times, making up the... I mean, I feel so bad for the amateur divisions. They've been all tee times, and they've been totally it's, messed up from the weather delay on Wednesday, and it's just been Well, absolute. the weather delays on Tuesday got it started. You're right. We they had smoke delays early. Tuesday, s- smoke no, canceled Wednesday. No disc golf on Wednesday. And then thunderstorms Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It was awful. Smash drive from her, not Boise, quite Idaho. the right aim for yeah. where you're trying to be, but Wait. she I think she got far enough off the tee that it might be okay. Just a tough hole to start off on. Yeah. It's just, I mean, we played Bradley, which is a pretty good short, scorable course. We played yep. Kennel Lake, which is longer for sure, but very attackable still, if you especially have any kind of power. And then we hit Sunset Hills, Sunset. which is... Like FPO players struggle on this hole or uh-huh. on this course, and so this is gonna be interesting to see how you these gotta ladies... have a lot of distance. Mm. <laughs> it definitely helps. Out of Callahan, Florida, Trinity, Brent. We're checking the weather all the time too, because, oh, like yeah. you said, the thunderstorms it could are like cancel any yeah. time. We've already had a like two three hour delay for this round. Yeah, I, at this point of the day, like MA one, there's I think twenty players who haven't even thrown a disc competitively yet yeah. and we're on our fourth round <laughs> <laughs> fj 18 and 15 definitely had the best of it I oh yeah 15's got through everything with no delays yep 18's had just like this two hour delay and rounding out our league card out of weatherford texas montana adams got montana back on our coverage she was on feature and now she's back again I think she was on she was on a second card too. I think she was on Chase card. Yep, she yeah. was on both, uh, both round see. one and two. Yeah. yeah. She has quite a bit of power. This course is a is one where she could catch up strokes yeah. if she stays really clean. She needs her putting to be really solid for this round for her to kind of make up some strokes, but she has the power to keep things interesting here. So these are Heiser. Great drive from there. Or mm-hmm. upshot. I guess it is a drive, but both. it's not off the tee. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's both. It's an upshot. It's it's everything. Lillian also from the fairway. This hole plays really hard for a forehand player. Yes. This one, she's coming right at you. 
Did it. Everyone loves to throw it right at me. Unfortunately, so you should just stand right next to the I, That's what I said too. <laughs> Unfortunately, the T pads are yes. OB, so she's going to be OB on that spot, even though it's in grass. Good line, it looks like. Unfortunately, just very short. Okay. She's she's already down a hill. She's already and then throwing high, trying yeah. to get over the hill. It's going to truncate a lot of distance. It's a it's a mistake a lot of amateur players, younger players will make. And you see even Ellie doing it here. She's trying to throw high and up and over, and she's going to land in the same spot because you're throwing the disc so far up yeah. and that you're it already just... going uphill. You just got to match the hill, and that will really allow you to kind of penetrate distance-wise. It's something they'll learn with a little more experience. Not OB, though. No. The sidewalk is not OB for this one, like you said. That one, good Sit upshot, down. good control there. <laughs> Coming in with a good angle and good speed. I'm thinking of the things you didn't experience. I'm putting no. air quotes in the air. <laughs> I don't know what happened if you went OB or not. Did you? I, so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it, Zach. Well, the tournament round was okay. The practice round, first hole of the practice <laughs> round, and I shanked my putter into the water. Did you get it back? No. Oh, man. Nope, still haven't seen that one yet. Dang. Well, honestly, it's probably a good thing because the one that wedged in Kennel Lake, I mean, if you didn't have it, true. right? The other one, maybe that one wouldn't have wedged. That's so. true. Good point. Destiny. That's what I'm going to say. Destiny. <laughs> okay. We have a long look here from Allie for her par. Smashed. Dead center. Very excited to see because Ellie's power is very elite. Oh, yeah. Her putting is very close to being what I would consider elite, especially yeah, in the FPO I would say field. If, like if she has a good day, mm, she's unstoppable. Right. I'm very interested to see what happens here because either things can go really well for her. Dang, we see oh. Montana just off to the left. Uh, but she can either really extend her lead. She could like get 20 strokes on the field here. Or if she throws too much power, she ends up like there's a yeah, lot of OB lot out here. Of OB here. She could find herself losing strokes because Trinity and Lillian, I'm assuming, or their game plans coming into this are stay clean, stay, stay in yeah. the fairway, take your pars if you can't reach it, and just move on. And so we'll see how this kind of plays out today. If she's on or not, starting with now on hole two, it's hole a change. Two, 313 feet. I don't think anybody's taking this gap. Oh, Most I people I've seen. What? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Most people are throwing a wide hyzer out to the right, just trying to get somewhere in circle two, I would say. Mm -hmm. Most yep. people, there's not quite the line to get all the way there on a hyzer. I would say most of the time. Of course, Ellie's got the power. She's, she's just going to prove anything I say wrong. You were saying. No, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, by the way, those are not tennis balls on the grass. No. They're just <laughs> these giant nut things. I don't know what they're called. It's some sort of like crab apple something i think maybe don't eat them very confident in that this is a much more typical typical drive mm -hmm. from trinity just short circle two she's gonna look at it lillian's gonna go with the forehand the path is ob here so that makes this play a lot riskier she see a reaction right away she just cranked all around that one and it's gonna stay on that side she'll have a long that one ob early approach yeah she's got a long approach to the basket from there See, Montana's trying to go she for my gap. She is taking the sneaky gap. Yeah. <laughs> Which surprised me. She honestly has the power to take the same gap Trinity yeah. has. Probably get a, even a little farther maybe, but maybe it was an early release. We'll have to ask Montana when it she... It looked like she was lining up that left side. I mean, maybe she saw the drone footage. Maybe she's yeah. like, that is the... Zach obviously knows. I <laughs> Honestly, every path I take is like, what's the easiest for the drone? It's just like, don't overcomplicate things. That's why I shouldn't be the drone flyer. Lillian here, I'm this needs to slow down. Mm, yeah. Oh, that one's just going to pick up and go. Just never has a chance. Unfortunately, it's going to be a second OB. Another OB. And a circle, and a too. Putt. Yeah, it's going to this is not working the way she wants it to right now. Trinity, like Good I said, spot. yep, yeah. just lay up. If it's not going to be a birdie, take a par. If she plays really clean, she can get strokes. Lillian just a little off on her putt there, just wide right. And that's going to leave a few tap-ins here. I mean, we still haven't even gotten to Ellie's drive. Ooh, that's, okay, the basket catches that one. That was a little high, wasn't it? <laughs> that was a little close. 
just fantastic birdie. Very I don't think birdie. I need to ask you how many birdies were on this. I'm hole. going to give a confident answer that was only Ellie. <laughs> you are a hundred percent correct. Hundred percent. Not as many birdies on this course as on the other ones. No, not many birdies. It's just a long course. I mean, look at hole three. Like Hole three, 384 feet. I would say there's kind of two lines. Either most people are trying to go under these branches and then just kind of push as far as you can and land. I'm trying to land somewhere like behind these trees. They're going to obviously blow past me. But otherwise there is, I saw someone take it um, when I was playing in the, uh, to go like way out to the right on a steep hyzer line. Too. Yep. Yeah, the steep hyzer line is the safer route, I would yeah. call. But if you have the forehand power, that's the way to attack the basket. It also shapes better with the hat. The, the sand traps are hazard, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. I didn't mess up graphics. Okay, good. Oh, did I spoil something? Foreshadowing? Oh no, we'll find out. It's it's inevitable for someone <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> at this course. See, the, I and if you are not gonna reach the basket, right? If you're gonna, you know, power wise, you're like, I know where I'm at. This is what it is. What Trini just did is brilliant. There's yeah. no reason to take that left side gap, which has other OB in play. It, just don't even worry about it. You have the better approach shot from that right side. It's all under control. It's a great shot. Montana's actually Montana, trying to go for it. Yeah. Say, uh, okay. Is it going to stay short of the OB? I, it is it's safe. It's short of that, but, and it looks like a, well, distance-wise, it doesn't look like a challenging putt. Correct. She will actually be the kind of in between them. right there. Yeah, she, yeah. So she can't go left or right, but she could go short, straight, and be fine. Okay. Right now, no one else can do that. You have to actually lift it over, like, this is such a hard... I don't think people understand how difficult this shot is. No, because there is no sliding it in. Yep, you, just, you have to land it, and it's got to stick. And she does. She does it perfectly. That's of absolute course. bananas. Like, oh my. I, most people, if you took 100 times, you'd do that 10. I would 10. say it's like 10 feet probably between the two bunkers. Yeah, Maybe not even. 50, yeah. And Lillian does it too. Like, I mean, I say it's hard. They don't think it is. I say it is. I just laid up mine short because I was like, that that's just not happening. Trinity, like of I said, course. she of has course. well, yeah. she has the best angle, right? She's True. farthest right of it, so she throws a hyzer and it'll be right there. Ooh, good thing for Montana that she did not go into the road mm -hmm. or into the path because that one is OB. And everyone's going to be up there tap, putting for par. I didn't ruin the foreshadowing. You might have there. <laughs> as, as I say, it trickles into the hazards. Like, no, I didn't I didn't ruin it. No, no hazards for our card today. Most of these are going to be pars and four-hour field today. No birdies on the hole. Averaged 1.08 over the par, though. So yeah. really played as a par four. Just a difficult hole in general. Just getting the par feels very clean. You saw the approach shots. All those are difficult. I can't imagine how many of them landed on the edge of the hazard. Oh, yeah. I can't believe it. You're up next. Stay turning. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Ew. Wow. Alan, so that's inbounds. That's exactly. She, I mean, Unbelievable. Hole four. Oh, this is spicy. This one's tricky. 345 feet. I would say it's like 150, maybe like 160, how it plays because of how downhill it is for mm -hmm. the layup play. But otherwise, I would guess most of the ladies on this card probably have the power to get all the way over. Um, it's a steep hyzer, I would say. If you're trying to go over, it's yep. definitely a hyzer with those branches in the way. And then there is a golf green and the bunker. I will say that I don't think Lillian will go for it. No. Just like forehand wise, I think she's smart enough to go just take the three. And Ellie, Ellie. too much spike. Yeah. Too too high. Not an, That one didn't look like it had a chance of getting over. Yeah, it's unfortunately going to trickle into the water OB. And, I mean, we'll see where the card, like, takes that for her. But that one looks like a tricky line. Um, they, even, you like, can still see up. it. Okay. You can see, it's on the edge, but it, it, it is visible to the card. No, 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 I'm saying, like, wherever they mark it, it can be really pinched off on that oh, left side. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, she's, she should have an angle. And okay. she's, she's a hyzer thrower anyway, so True. that should help her. But she should be able to 
we'll see from yeah. the camera angle in a minute, but just how Montana tried to lay that one up. <laughs> she oh boy. she throws it, hits first available, and the hill's like, all right, we feel bad. All right, here you go, Shit. down on the hill. I'm not too worried about distance okay, from I there. I think that was an okay, like yeah. a helpful roll. Oh yeah, I mean, but you didn't want to be on top of the hill. That'd well, been no. a terrible run up. I predicted Good correctly. Spot. Yep. I totally didn't watch it during the day and edit it and know that was coming, obviously. Uh, obviously not. I'm just the most brilliant commentator of all time. Make sure you like the video if you agree. And if you don't agree, you can like the video. <laughs> Great up there for Montana. Just wide enough to make it easy for angle approach. This is a tough angle for her style for her of throwing. Throw, yeah. This has to be controlled. Carry. Good plank okay. wedge. Yeah, this is great. Given like how her, like how she normally throws, that is, I would say, a good case scenario. Again, I'm I'm gonna talk about this. I don't think Ellie like for me, she's just so fast. I don't just don't know if she thinks about it. If your disc goes ob, you can take it backwards as but, much yeah. as you want. If she wanted to, she could go back 20 feet for better footing, and just throw a backhand approach if it's a better angle yeah it might have been that she's just like this is the same i'm just gonna throw a forehand pitch and be under the basket i mean she it clearly didn't affect her but like that is something you can think of if yeah. you're playing on the course that's hey what can i do to give myself the best advantage possible <gasps> oh rude fun fact maybe going back would have been helpful it could have been <laughs> i mean i didn't even i forgot that she missed that actually i wasn't even trying to foreshadow that i was literally just Thinking out loud there. Fun fact, though, this hole had the same number of pars, bogeys, and double bogeys as the previous hole. Really? Yeah, I did not. Would not have expected that in a million years. No. Didn't think that that would be a thing. But, yes, same number of pars, bogeys, and double bogeys. The average is the same stroke total. I would those say two that holes. one's a pretty iffy distance where a lot of people are yeah. going to lay that one yeah. up. This one's not so iffy. It's flat ground, no. but there's some danger. What do we got? 246 going on? feet. It's kind of a tight gap off the tee, but really it's just in your head. I would say most people aren't actually hitting it. And then there's a pond short and a pond to the left with mm -hmm. the roads safe. The yeah. pond, the pond to the left is for real in play. Oh yeah. Don't the, don't. The path talk. is safe. <laughs> I was gonna say don't <laughs> don't say anything about hitting the. I almost crashed my drone on this hole Ooh. i i flew it through the gap and immediately took a quick turn left right at that branch and i thankfully was paying attention stopped it pulled it back you even saw another company who did some drone footage on this course they just went 80 feet in the air and didn't even bother with it yeah first one montana is off to the side lillian Stay needs in. to sit and she does okay. in circle she'll have a pup for birdie there not the best ground play but it could have been worse. It's, yes, it definitely could have. Sloping towards the water. This one looks like it's going to push deep, yeah, but that, that's the safe play is to push it deep. She knows it's 246, not 286, right? <laughs> Juice is that one deep. Ellie, ooh, that looks like it's steep. Heiser angle sit. Yeah, she threw it right to give it room, but that's going to trickle OB. <laughs> She'll have a putt, though, from that... Uh, circle 20 foot of range or so trinity not too eager to run that one with water around it she's gonna lay up by the basket montana says that looks like a good idea i'm gonna do it too <coughs> don't die <coughs> lily just high from lily just too tall for that one just over the top struggling to find a rhythm i think this round yeah it seems. little she and the thing is that she's not even that far off no she just the way that she's walking out of the putt she just seems flustered yep something i think it's from her throws too i think yeah. her off the tee stuff is affecting her confidence on the green a little bit but she still has lots of golf and there's this, lots of golf left and this horse or this course can go bad on every hole for sure it's speaking of a hole that could go bad hole six oh, is yeah. one of them Break 712 feet. This one is tough. I would say most people are probably okay. Ellie's just gonna be the exception. I'm <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore her for this second. Most people I'd say are taking two shots to get to the mm -hmm. water, about to where like that person's standing, and then they're going over, which is like 250, I think, when yep. I arranged it, something yep. like that. And then I had 258, I think. Okay, my bad. 
Um, I'm just being specific. <laughs> I, I, you're right. 250 is 250. I just I think it's 258 the longest across. Ooh, this is going to be short from Montana. from Montana. But like you said, most of the people take two anyway. So even if this is short, you sh- yeah. I mean, with her power, she should be able to get in position in two. This hole is famous with Holland Hanley's yes. albatross throw. I was totally there filming with Disc Golf Network at the time of course. on hole five. And we heard the whole roar and everything when I was on filming chase card. That was a lot of fun. Nice. This one from Trinity, good height, good speed. This is good great. Speed. Just don't crash too much into the hill. Okay. Yep. That one will be okay. Sometimes if you're like way up on that hill, it can be really tricky footing. Yeah, you don't want to be awkward with your yeah. footing, right? Oh, I didn't even mention the... Okay, for like part of the hole, this one's kind of confusing. Um, to the right of the basket, or not to the basket, to the right of this drive... Um, the path and over it is OB. Mm-hmm. But once you get to like about where you're, that line up that there, line. then it gets safe. <laughs> so she's four feet from OB right now. Yes. She was so mad with that tee shot too. She was grumbling like, oh no, this is really bad. And then like got way up there. Yeah. She's she's definitely going over after that. This needs to check up in Heiser. It's not. That's, That's going to be OB for OB. Montana. Unfortunate mistake there. She really needed to keep that left. Thing. that should be an okay angle i don't know that one it definitely sets up a good hyzer play for a backhand yeah I'm but she's a forehand sure. player yeah. right it's that, like that's where i'm a little nervous. trying to think of it that way right trinity's gonna lay up just not in front of that hill sure. yeah she'll have a good line from there i'm not sure what lillian's look will be i like. think montana has to go for this right i mean she's like I mean, she has one ob stroke she has to get across the water yeah. here to save any kind of remnants and she does she gets over the water she does She's got yeah. a putt. Long putt, but you're safe. And I would say this one, you're not too worried about going OB on the putt. I really love how the TD or the guy who did the announcements, he explained to the card that the wall that yes. plays in front is in bounds. It is safe. Ellie actually going to go early here, left of the wall there. But oh, it is in bounds and safe. I know. <laughs> I was praying in a heart. But if you happen to skip over the water and hit the wall, you have made it in bounds and you can yeah. take it from the wall. I'm really glad they distinguished that, so there's no question about that. And talk about nearly throwing in the oh. three. Lily making that look a s- real close from there. Trinity's so close. She's going standstill. Oh, this is turned over. This, this one's needs- turned over. That tee box is OB. She's sitting in mounds. <laughs> <laughs> she's she flirting with that a little too much. Mm. Oh, good line. Almost. At least from that one, though, if she had gone out OB, she would have gotten to take it from, like, right there. Yep. Because I think part of the struggle of this <sighs> hole is if you leave it low, you don't advance any further. And right. you still have got to carry the water again. Unfortunate missed putt there, missed putt there from Ellie. Yep, Ellie. Oh, that was for her eagle. Yeah. Just so we're all aware. <laughs> that wasn't for her par. That was for a big old eagle. Lily also carding the birdie for this hole. And uh, we have a nice Everybody little on top of we have a nice little turtle, yeah, all hanging out together. We had three birdies, so one lady, Isabella, was nice. not on the card who was able to card the birdie for this hole. Yeah, I played with her. She had a great birdie. Ledgestone. Every summer, hundreds of disc golfers flock to the greater Peoria, Illinois area to compete in the sport's richest and most charitable event, the Ledgestone Open. But what does Ledgestone look like for the rest of the year? On the surface, Ledgestone is one of Disc Golf's leading retailers. But look a little closer and you'll find a group of motivated individuals providing the best possible service to the disc golf community. So whether you're building a bag, wanting to support your favorite pro, or looking to add to your disc golf wardrobe, choose the retailer that's as passionate about the sport as you are. Choose Ledgestone. Boy. Hole seven now. Break this one down for us. 575 feet. Not too much, like on paper damage on this one but it's just 575 feet um the golf like ball golf fairways are op here oh i did not yes, know that I didn't but know that. they're way out to the sides that you're not they're not in play really. they're not really in play without shanking pretty aggressively <laughs> <laughs> so this one it's clean off the tee that's a yeah. lot of the throws here at sunset are clean off the tee but there's ob everywhere afterwards yep 
So this one's kind of a nice breather hole. That tree, okay. She's going to be a mile past, but that tree right there, you can see, it is a magnet. I feel like every yeah. single time you throw anything, it just goes right by that tree. Yeah, the PDJ called me and asked me to update the batteries on it so that it would track more discs. It definitely is has a disc yes. magnet in there. Yes. Ellie is going to be early left. But, sh I mean, again, like you said, as long as, honestly, far enough left and far enough right are both great. Cause they're yeah. Easy. Yeah, well, dead center can be kind of tricky, but otherwise yeah. you're just kind of throwing whatever driver you can trust and is not sitting in a lake. <laughs> and then <laughs> that isn't figuring lost. it out. You definitely did have a couple of tough water holes, four and five back to back. Yeah. That like to gobble stuff up pretty aggressively. Well, and then six takes them too. Yeah, they do. Oh my. <laughs> the number four, five, and six is the just get out of there without losing the disc kind of section of the If you can get course. out of there without losing a disc and without, like, too many OB strokes, you are, th well, okay. I wouldn't say that you're thrilled, but <laughs> <laughs> something's going right. Montana, great up shot from her. Going to be in the circle putting for birdie. Yeah. And it's a par four, right? Yeah. Weaving. Yeah, weaving nice. between the trees there. She's going to be parked, too. Two for two on the approaches. Looks like good line, but still pretty short from her. She had a tough angle. Yeah. The uh, cameraman was telling me she had to keep a pretty steep hyzer. Ellie's got a wide open look here. Three bullseyes. Awesome. They're making it look a little Four too easy. Yeah, this one was. How easy did this one play? Let me look. I should probably be ready for that, shouldn't I? Mm, just short for Trinity. Oh. It played at plus one five point one five. Excuse me, not one five. That would be ridiculous. Played as the easiest hole on the day, and there were. Let me count them. One. Hold on, Montana. Montana's got a putt next. Uh, two. Two. <laughs> <laughs> and, in case you can't tell where I'm going with this, three. There are three birdies, because this is too close for <laughs> Juliana the Mets. No. Nope. That's a little too close. Trinity with the unfortunate par, but not doing really any significant damage to her no. scorecard. As we move on to now hole eight. Tricky hole here. Well, it, yeah, this one's kind of tricky. 292 feet. That tree on the right is kind of providing all like super wide hyzers out to the right. This tree upcoming, I don't remember what kind of tree it is, but off to the left right there kind of uh, prevents any super long uh, forehands. All the bunkers on the right play as a hazard. Mm -hmm. So really, you're just kind of trying to get your drive close. It's better to land. Uh, well, that looks a little high, but I think it'll be okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anywhere the safe zone is to the left of the basket for sure. Yeah, agreed. There's. Oh yeah, I forgot about. There's also a uh, golf. Um, Green. Yes, that word. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie landing a little deep in the safe zone, but she has had so much power. Yeah, pin high, but not not where she wants to be, position wise, because she's gonna be putting back at towards the yeah. hazards and green. Montana needs to miss this tree. Ooh. Okay, just gets past it. Really, anything past that tree, the approach shots get significantly easier. Yeah. Everything behind that, there's like an overhang with another tree involved, and so things get a little more technical, but if you're past it, you see the basket pretty openly, and it's just either a forehand or backhand approach. No surprise, a forehand from her. <laughs> Oh, sit down. Okay. Yeah, that was that was. We're getting ready to skate. Came in with a little bit of steam, but sat down. Trini looked like she's taking the Anheuser route. I think around this tree. Oh no, she had a straight out look. I don't know where I thought the basket was. <laughs> Invisible, hiding perfectly in plain sight. I hate it when the basket does that oh too. Oh my gosh. Courses that I've it's never so been bad. to. Just like, where's the basket? They just look at me like, right there. Like you can't see <laughs> that. It's like I swear I can Ellie see. Ellie coming back. Ooh, 
Yeah, that was way more that uphill is. than the camera shows. Oh, yeah. A layup is, is exactly what I was expecting. Looks like all par is going to be coming in for our card. This is a par kind of hole, though. Oh, yeah. Not any birdies to speak of. I would doubt that we had too many bogeys, though. Yeah, not too many. More, wait, twice as many pars as we had bogeys. Yeah. So a couple people who didn't quite get the upshot what they wanted. But uh, we can move on to one of the harder holes. Hole nine is the second Yay. hardest hole. Yeah, it's my favorite. 535 feet. There's a branch right off the tee. I will mention it because <laughs> everything seems to hit there. Like, I don't, whatever. And then <laughs> you're just trying to drive and then get your, most people I would say are trying to get their upshot short of the basket most of the time. Yep. I, depending on where you land. Um, but if you have any kind of like obstruction, just short of that little pond that is definitely full of water now. I was gonna say this rain. just so yeah. So I filmed that on Tuesday, right? The, oh no, I didn't. Monday. Monday. Right. Tuesday we played. Yes. Thursday morning. This morning there were thunderstorms, and it's now full. Like we went from no rain, no rain. on this course, is everything's bone dry, big skips to an inch of water and it just collected all in that yeah. pond it is very yeah, full right now. not as much skippy right now and i would say if you're okay the tee pads are okay but sometimes some of the grass can be slick yes. gotta be careful on your foot positions there ellie going way out to the right and then i'll finish my whole preview <laughs> <laughs> i would say with ellie's power like some of the if you get a clean off the tee you yeah. can definitely go over but there's also, there's an OB path to the right. Mm -hmm. There's just OB, like, path left. and then, like, grass area to the left of the basket. Yep. And then an elevated basket on a stump, just to top it off. So you see where that tall grass is in the screen right now. There's a line that jets across that. Yeah. That starts the OB, and then the sidewalk is OB, and then that cuts across the grass to the left of the fairway. So it's not even all fair. If you're looking at the basket on that side of the lake, not all yeah. that grass is fair. Uh, I mean, we saw several people. Like you got your card. You guys had a player yes. that was on that side, um, and you guys were talking about how to play it. I mean, it can get tricky if you're not paying attention. I, th I thought when she let go of that, I thought she was running it. It looks like it was going over. I she definitely was trying at least, and uh, honestly, I think that tree's probably good. Yeah, I think that her land's short. She'll have a par opportunity, to be able to get up and down, but. She was looking like she was getting aggressive there. Can that scoot over? Mm -hmm. Yes. And she'll have an easy look at the basket from there. I don't think she was going to miss that hole, even if she hits water. That thing had just the right kind of hyzer. Yeah. If you've ever done a water skip shot, that, that was going to skip. Thanks, Reed Friscura in Michigan. Trinity, this one getting chains? Mm -hmm. Oh! Mm -hmm. Off the band. So close. So that would have been such a good eagle. That would ah, have been so good. I wanted it. This was a more typical play. Montana going with no run up, though. I thought that was interesting play, and it is going to end up costing oh. her. She goes in the drink OB. The, it, you couldn't really see it from the camera. The car thought it kind of scooted up along the grass and then came back in. Couldn't see any of it from the camera angle. So she will get the benefit of going the other side of that pond, but if she had laid too short, she'd have to throw from the front yeah. side of the pond. There was definitely a lot of danger coming down the line for that shot. Ooh, Ooh there's this that right. That's our right putt. Last yes. half and this happened, it was three putts. She's got to get this back to center. This one's a tr I feel like it's a different elevation than like a normal elevated putt. I don't know what Gosh. it is about it. But I just, I feel like putting on this basket is trickier than most elevated baskets. Don't worry. It won't be there much longer. That stump is so true. dead and Very rotted. True. It is so about to die. Oh, oh no. What? That thing was in the, the basket. The basket just rejected that one. Just pushed her out for no good reason. Montana, a little wide right for her attempt. She's got this one left. Maybe 15 feet. Oh. Oh. Not quite high enough. That elevated basket gets people. And even this putt from right here can be tricky because you can't mm -hmm. quite get a full squ swing in. For sure. I mean, elevated baskets in general play different for different people, right? Andrew yeah. Marwee, who's 6'6", six, six, is going to look at that and go, this is not an elevated basket. And then you f can find lots of Keith Emerson even would be like, this is definitely elevated. Yeah. 
but we have those last tap-ins there. We're going to take a look at the front nine of Sunset Hills. They get their first chance at looking at the kind of pro level course we have here yes uh ellie actually under par, under par she, of course this is and trinity at even is exactly what I, her game plan is to play clean and she's done just she's, that yeah so she i mean this is we're gonna see how things kind of shake up people on the chase card are moving in positions yes this There's thing a lot of moving we're gonna see what this looks like going into the semifinals after this round yes we'll have for to, this one there is some pressure on it because only the top six will make the semis so correct. everybody's kind of fighting for that those spots and there's a lot there's good battle there yes. for that i would say five, fifth through eighth there's yeah a, there's a close enough where it's battling but that's it for this front nine we'll see you all in the back nine in a second because i know you want to watch that and uh grace and i will see you then